main event time, Murph. George Mann, 193 centimetres, 70 kilos, 25 wins to his name with four KOs, taking on Ben Marnie, age 22, 180 centimetres, 70 kilos, 26 wins, eight KOs, and boy, has he been on fire tonight, Murph. Hey we now do final, full tie rule, all right? You know the rule? Let's go. Beautiful instruction there from the referee. Both boys starting to show a little bit of damage on their body. George is looking a bit red around the shoulders and the ribs. Benny, shin, look, it might be kicked a fair few times or has kicked a fair few times. Getting black and blue there, Murph. Yeah, mate, um, but I think you'll find Benny too. Well, once again, as you know, mate, that pain is only something when you think about it, Ready? and I think that the, the Benny's concentration will be on winning this fight tonight. And straight away, Benny switched down, so there you go. Interesting contrast. But jigging in and closing the gap, which some of the other guys haven't done against George Murph. Yeah, no, and I think you'll find Benny will do that once he sort of gets himself settled. And the thing is, too, it's not to aim to punch him in the head. It's to aim to punch him in the in the solar plex, in the chest, and then step in oh, and then you will catch him. Yeah. I think George just got woken up a little bit then. And his timing is just on the... He is yeah. timing his punches beautifully. Yeah, no, he is, mate. He's, uh, yeah, definitely uh, one of the best performances I've seen from Benny. I've found it in a long time. Um, so, uh, yeah. There we go. Look at the weight behind that teeth there, Murph. Oh, he threw Benny out of the ring. <laughs> <laughs> so three yeah, no. rounds here. Three rounds here, Murph, under yeah. full tie rules. Yeah, I think two that did. Oh, yeah, he's right, but Benny will want to watch it. I'm going to get him too close because I want to see how George is uh, in the grapple with those elbows. But, yes, Benny landing those punches. <laughs> Good to see straight away, Benny. The second time George Teep, he swept the Teep away and like we talked about before, tried to counter off it straight away while some of the other boys should have been doing it. Yeah, mate, yeah. I think once again, too, it's a different calibre fighting up at the moment with Benny. Um, he is very smart um, and he is relentless, so we'll, it'll be interesting to see how it works out. There's that disgusting noise of shit on shit we know too well, man. <laughs> oh, I love hearing it on everyone else bar myself. Yes. Once again, this huge event brought to us, Eruption 14. Thank you, Fox Sports, for having us along. I hope you're enjoying this, watching on Fox Sports at home. Paul Demicoli, you have done a cracking job putting on this show. Thank you to our sponsors, Ultra Tune, Logan Law, DIG Civil Mining, and Radio Metro. Without you guys, we could put on a stellar show like this, Murph. No, that's exactly right. Without the sponsors, we are nothing. Without the people and the fans that turn up, we are nothing. So this is what uh, makes these boys get in and do what they do. So thank you, Paul Demicoli, for uh, putting on a great show. Oh. Oh. I see now. I think Benny will start to pick the pace up a little bit more now, yeah? Let's see. We haven't seen him flinch. This is the first time Benny's got some nice control of uh, George's arms there. Yeah. No, he has. He's wrapped him up well there. Bye really seen a new aspect of Benny's game. Yes, he's on song with his timing of his hands, Murph, but he's also doing, switching up his stances as he punches. It's been very different game yeah. for him tonight. No, that's it, and, and I think also too just uh, with, with the height and reach once again, Benny's got to be a bit smarter. Here we go. Oh, oh, beautiful. 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 Yeah. And that is what we like to see, Murph. A good solid jig in to close the gap and then a beautiful expo explosion of technique. Yeah, no, that's it. They might take you two or three misses to land the fourth. If you throw one, he's just going to keep you there. They might go, two, and keep coming in. Don't just keep and stop. Okay, they might take one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. If you just keep throwing one, he's just going to do what you did the other two guys. So you've got to be busy. You're fitter. He's had two wars. We've been lucky to have that one easy one. So you've got to take advantage. Make him tired. As we go back to the replay there, Benny using his hands again and stepping off after he does some beautiful damage. How do you see it so far, Murph? 
Look, mate, at the end of the day, I think, um, you know, I've got to show a bit of favouritism to the Queens. I think Benny has been walking it up. He's been a bit more devastating in what he has landed. Not too much has been done on either part, but I uh, I think that round will definitely go to Benny. Well, I tend to agree with you, mate. Let's see if John Lampar edging his fighter on for more combinations, not the one and two. He wants a three, four. Exactly as we said before with the other guys. Miss with the one or two with the longer reach guys. You'll catch with the third and the fourth. So that's what he's got to do. Actually, great cornering again from John Wayne. He must be listening to our rule book, mate. Oh, mate. Well, you know, of course John Wayne Parr is going to listen to us. And he hasn't been around much. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right, mate. <laughs> oh, yes. Once again, Benny finding that range. Once again, Murph, Benny fired off a beautiful kick and fired up with some punches. Then into the clinch and elbowing beautifully. Yeah, this is where it'll be interesting, mate. Let's just see how young George handles the pressure of someone Benny too, you know, when he's actually in there. Wayne Carr calling for Benny to be busy. He wants the twos and threes and fours. And mate, who else would you want to listen to, Murph? Yeah, well, yeah, you're getting uh, Muay Thai royalty in the corner telling you what to do. You don't disagree with him. John Wayne Park coming off a huge head kick KO there over at uh, Glory Kickboxing, I think it was, Murph. Not Glory, sorry. Bellator. Bellator, kickboxing. yes, mate, it was. You know, great performance to see the uh, old gunslinger up there. I was a little bit worried when he did beat him with that head kick that he had actually... Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, I was a bit worried that John Wayne might have done a hip getting his leg up that high. <laughs> So far, I dare say Benny's been way more active. Yeah, no, definitely oh, landed those punches. That's it. He's got to just, yeah, continue it on. Continue it on. That's it. Follow up. Three, fours and fives, Murphs. That's what yeah, we want, isn't it? That's exactly it. Hard clinch to nullify there with such a big 13 centimetre height advantage. Beautiful uppercut elbow technique. Benny's got the clamp down. Yeah, look, once again, there's not much in that grapple. It's not really a high-scoring grapple for George, I don't think. Mark. No, definitely not. Definitely not. Um, you know, Benny definitely landing the stronger punches, and I think that pressure is, you can see, George has been a little bit more tentative now. Now, with my keen observant eye, Murph, I've noticed Benny's actually squinting with his right eye, so I don't know if he's got something stuck in, a bit of Vaseline, or he's scratched his eyeball, maybe, but I wonder if that'll affect him. Or maybe he might just be winking at George, letting him know that. Oh. <laughs> that's true, too, mate. Yeah, that's right. Kind of like those things he used to. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like the young Kyle oh. Lee. Oh. Benny's Dude. trying hard with that homing right hand again. Yeah, I think he wants to get out of that grapple because not much is going on there and it does look like the bigger man sort of leaning on you does take that out of you, so. Well, Murph, I don't know about you, but oh, it's a, still a tight one, but I think Benny's a bit more active at the moment. Yeah, look, mate, that's how I'd call it too. When he comes, good kick, two kick, two kick. Start. No. Start. Go for his right. Listen to me. Go for his right leg. Listen to me. Go for his right side. And then the left knee. Like the left knee. Throw some elbows now. Well, here we go, guys. If you haven't listened to Blue Corner, very chaotic corner. We've got three guys screaming instructions anywhere for George. <laughs> yeah. all, I think it's that. very hard for him to understand. Well, that'd be like being at the back of Lompidian somewhere, mate, when you got the bet then coming out there yelling out, do this, do this, do this, yes, yes. Well, both boys egging your crowd on. And this is what we come for, the third and final round of the Super 8 final. Proudly sponsored by Ultra Tune, brought to you on Eruption 14. Well, this is the round, mate. This is the one that you want to dominate in now, to dominate on this fight. So uh, let's see the boys go. Well, once again, Benny finding his reins there, pushing forward. Yep, definitely landing the stronger knees. He's getting busier and active in the clinch, which is fantastic. Yep, he needs to move forward. That's, that didn't pay, that's it. 
still winking at us from the oh, yeah. beautiful sway back yeah, again. Yeah, let sway back and then they're coming back and countering with the leg kick. Yeah, the art of Thai boxing, make the other opponent miss and pay for oh, it. Yeah. <laughs> Normally that would have been a spitter back elbow to the head, but in George's case it was to the rib. <laughs> so big. Oh, yeah, good. that's it. That's the pressure that Benny needs to keep on. Don't back off him now. To about a halfway through the round, I think now Murph. So far, I see Benny on top doing more damage at the moment. Yeah, no, definitely coming forward. Um, you know, George is there holding his own with with what he's doing, but definitely not having the the power or the effect of what Benny's using. Come on, come on, come on, last ball, come on, last ball. Referee calling for action. You've done that many times yourself, Murph. Oh, oh yes, right beautiful hand. cap with that right hand. I've had the producers calling for action too, mate, in those movies, so not much different. George sitting on the ropes now. He's starting to feel the pressure and the power of Benny. Oh, beautiful in the press basket. Doubles it up nicely. That's it. Downstairs, upstairs. That's oh, all. Oh, he's scored. letting it all go now. He's comfortable as in the ring. Back, 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 back. Come on, come on. Fight, come on. <laughs> oh, beautiful. And combination. <laughs> yes, that's what we want to see. And I think it was just the experience tonight with, with Benny too, back, just back, 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 you know, countering back and uh, getting through that uh, defence and, and long limbs of George tonight. Oh, oh he's down. He's down. That was beautifully done by Benny. Yes. Anyone sitting at home, if you want to watch a perfect Thai box clinic, yeah. watch what we are viewing here on the corner of the ring. You can definitely see the frustration too, mate, in uh, George there. Um, and he walks forward so confidently. Why wouldn't you? He's on top of the whole fight. He's been on top of the whole night, Murph. Yeah, mate, he has. Um, yeah, the young George now, you can sort of see that he's in deep water at the moment now. He's got some claret coming from the nose now, Murph. Yeah, he's running backwards. He doesn't like it. He's thank God for that, I think. <laughs> well, uh, uh, <laughs> well, that was a very, very good display of tie boxing. George tried to nullify Benny in the clinch. Um, Murph, I personally don't see it going to blue corner. I think Benny done enough to win the fight. How would you call it, mate? Yeah, mate, look, um, I think if the judges are reading the right fight, mate, definitely will be a Benny Mahoney decision. Um, Benny just come forward. He did land a lot more stronger uh, sort of techniques when he did. Um, yeah, that, uh, to me, it's got to be a Benny Mahoney. Three rounds of action. We've gone to the judges' scorecards. Your winner of the Eruption 70 Kilo Super 8 Championship and the man that is $6,000 richer is Red Corner Benny Money. Righto guys, we have the Super 8 winner here, Benny Barney.